INEC admit 2023 election rigging. INEC begs P2B lawyers not to do this. Hello, Nigerians. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. The Independent National Electoral Commission has now stated outrightly what really occurred in that last presidential election. A lot of persons have been questioning and waiting for their reply. The Independent National Electoral Commission, led by Professor Mahmoud Yakub, having gone at the middle of the night to announce results and to give the certificate of return to Bola Mertinimbu, have now seen that the final judgment date is almost at the at hand and now all he could do is after the review he started making confesses he has started pleading with p2b's lawyers not to do the exact thing that p2b's lawyers has planned to do so that they are going to indict INEC and also Bola Mertinimbu. if independent national electoral commission had tidied their own tax on that very day of election the burden placed on the judiciary that all eyes are now on the judiciary will not be there at this point in time the Independent National Electoral Commission failed to conglomerate all the certificates submitted by electoral candidates from respective political parties before giving them the eligibility to vote and to be voted for. The Independent National Electoral Commission ought to go back to the certificates submitted by these electoral candidates, correlate them with the previous submission they have made to that commission, and by then they will know the particular candidate that has submitted fraudulent documents. How can you give an eligibility to a candidate that failed to submit their form at the exact 14 days that we are supposed to submit that particular form? Kashim Shetima, being the vice presidential candidate of Bola Metinimbu, initially bought a form for the senatorial seat in Bonu State. And when he was appointed by Bola Metinimbu as the flag bearer of the APC for the presidential vice presidential seat, he went and also acquired that particular form. Now he's holding two forms, which is not constitutional, instead of him to relieve the one he had in Bonu State. And Bola Metinimbu failed to even caution him. Now, INEC did not look into the dual nomination of Kashim Shetima. They allowed him to run for that seat. Probably they felt that if Bola Metinimbu did not win that presidential seat, then he can now fall back to that senate senatorial seat you see politicians are always known to stay in power they always want they want to stay in power without knowing the dividends and the democratical constituent work they are going to do for their masses it is ridiculous and this were the points p2b stated that the process that brought bola metinimbu into office is fraudulent how did bola metinimbu acquire eight, eight million and something votes independent national Electoral commission come and explain exactly what occurred, how you conglomerated and minus the 18,088 blonde result on the IRF. Even up to now, P2B's legal team has notified and has told the public and even the court that the presidential results have not yet been uploaded in the IRF, even up to now that INEC has concluded, congl con conglomerated all the results. Even up to now that INEC has even started reviewing the past results and they have stated that they have learned from their mistakes. As a matter of fact, INEC has started begging P2B's legal team. INEC have stated that they have learned their lessons. It is ridiculous. If you are learning your lessons, is it when the deeds has been done? The Independent National Electoral Commission, led by Professor Mahmoud Yakub, has said 2023 lessons has been learned. That the mistakes and the contingencies over the last presidential election is what they are going to use to work out the modalities of subsequent election. In his exact way, he said lessons have been learned from the 2023 general election and that there will be improvement in the forthcoming by elections and other governorship elections in subsequent states like Imo State, Kogi State, and Bayasa State, another presidential election that is coming up in future. He added that the commission is satisfied with the feedback it got during the 2023 post-election review organized by the commission. Probably because INEC had to run a questionnaire to the commissioners that were posted in Zephras, several local governments and states. And they questioned them and they outrightly told them that this is exactly what occurred in that very day of election. Now they have used the yastic of what they ran and the answers they got from the questionnaire they showed to the electoral commissioners to use it as a yastic to learn from their mistakes. According to the national chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, he spoke, he spoke during a conclusion of the three-day review of the 2023 general election. The INEC boss assured the most of the issues raised and recommendations made by the European Union and other respected bodies to improve the nation's election would be a test run in the forthcoming elections. According to his exact word, he promised that Nigerians 
that we are going to hold the election review holding and conclude it within one month. We started at exactly this time and we are promising Nigerians that we have learned our lessons and we are sorry for all the inconveniences and wrongs that occurred in the last presidential election as we are going to use them to work out modalities for the future elections. This is what provoked P2B's legal team. Why is INEC using the 2023 election to learn from their re former mistakes? Why didn't they use the previous election, the 2020, 2011 elections and other subsequent elections to learn from their mistakes? Why is it that is this a particular election that P2B ran that INEC is now using to learn their mistakes? What is really occurring? Even in the subsequent election, P2B's legal team has stated, even in the subsequent election that is coming up in the future, INEC will also want to use it to learn their lessons. And that is why they say, once beaten, twice shy, that is one of the reasons P2B is trying to sanitize the commission and also the fraudulent activities that occurred in that very day of election. The Independent National Electoral Commission did not do their work very well. They stated that outrightly they are going to transmit results from the IRF. That once you vote on your polit in your particular polling unit, it will be transmitted immediately. Until that day, the National Assembly results we are all uploaded successfully. Just the presidential election results was the one that was having ha that maximum hinges. And INEX stated that they were having glitches on that very day. The Amazon provider that P2B brought to the court as a witness stated that it is a pure blunt lie. That that rascality should not be condoled. That the glitches did not occur on that very day of election. They were the ones that submitted server for INEC to build that beavers. That nothing or such occurred. That INEC deliberately did not want to upload the presidential result. And even up to now, INEC don't want to upload the full result so that P2B's legal team and other public, other other persons will see the exact figures that they used to conglomerate that particular figure and the, how they announced Bola Metinibu as the winner of that very election. Look at what INEC is stating. If INEC want to plead to P2B's legal team, they should appear in equity, fairness, and with clean hands. They should come out plain. They should stop hiding whatsoever, stating that they want to learn, they have, they have learned their lessons from the previous ele electoral act acts. Well, it is ridiculous, and that is one of the reasons P2B has fought so hard. P2B's legal team has now presented all the evidences that is liable of indicting INEC and Bola Nimbu in this last presidential election. If INEC wants P2B's legal team to probably forgive them so that all things will be placed accurately and the progress of the country will be maintained, then INEC should continue to state outrightly, continue to confess and state the exact thing that occurred in that last presidential election. React on the comment section. What is your take on this? You've heard the exact plea INEC has stated and how they have admitted that they were wrongs on that last presidential election. React on the comment section, share this video, like this video and do well to often hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when I drop more trending videos.